journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. This milestone is a giant leap forward as we move toward enhanced justice and human rights. We have every reason to lift our heads high and walk tall. The ODPP is now blazing the trail. It is no longer going to be business as usual. This is our commitment to Kenyans. I want to thank you all for coming here. The function is to launch two documents, the Excellence Charter and the Standing Operational SOPs for Human Rights. The launch of the Excellence Charter is an immensely transformative step the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution, ODPP, has taken on its road to improve its service to Kenyans over the years. Historically in Kenya, prosecution was a department under the Attorney General's office. It was separated out by the 2010 Constitution, which delinked it and made it an independent office as the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution. Since then, the office has made great strides on its continuous track towards innovation. The Excellence Charter 2020-2023 is synonymous to what we call the strategic plan. Remember, a strategic plan is something that is done for a five-year period. But because of our ambition as an office, this excellent center, we decided to collapse into three years so that we are able to realize our goals within the shortest time possible. These steps are being taken to modernize the institution to meet the dynamic needs of the 21st century. Little as 10 years ago, we didn't have some new crimes. We were not as savvy on digital. Now so many things are moving that you can't afford to be left behind on the pace of crime. So you need to be adept. A 21st century prosecutor is an all-round prosecutor who could multitask and uh, can make quick decisions so that you can safeguard the public. Technically, if you are to serve the Mwanainchi properly and efficiently, it is very, very important that uh, even the service providers, in this case the prosecutors and the, uh, the departments that support the prosecutions, they need to be uh, trained very well in order to, 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 to manage even the cases uh, in a more efficient manner. This march towards success has required a multi-sector approach and the support of multiple partners. One of them has been the European Union. The EU supported the ODPP's transformative vision through the Programme for Legal Empowerment and Aid Delivery in Kenya PLEAD Partnership whose team supported the ODPP Strategic Plan Committee with drafting the Excellence Charter. Our work as UNODC is to support nations and states when it comes to fulfilling SDG 16, which is strong institutions, and strong institutions are the bedrock of society. So we're very happy to have supported uh, ODPP in the process, worked with them through the process. Related institutions within the sector worked collaboratively for over a year to bring this charter to light. I just want to commend the, um, the commitment of the ODPP, of IPOA and of the National Police Service and to their leadership in advancing human rights protection through accountability. And this will ultimately contribute not only to enhance human rights protection, but also to strengthen the mandate of the agencies and strengthen public confidence that access to justice in an expeditious manner is attainable for all. All the parties involved in the process and all those who will be affected by these changes have lauded the multi-sector cooperation and pledged their support and collaboration. I want to reiterate that um, IPOA will be part of this process to the end. I'm delighted to join you today during this launch of ODPP Excellence Charter and Standard operating procedures. This is meant to enhance efficiency and effectiveness in delivery of services in the criminal justice system. Of all the independent offices under the Constitution, the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions has been the most transformative in performing the agenda given to it by the Constitution. The Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions is a critical player in the criminal justice sector and its linkages with other key players like the police, the Attorney General's office and the judiciary to name 
just but a few is very important. We will endeavor to expedite the hearing of all cases in our courts. For us to tackle delays in the delivery of justice and bridge gaps that arise in cases, we will need to work in tandem with each other. The Charter sets out a three-year roadmap built on earlier successes that will squarely place the ODPP on the fast track to greater effectiveness and service for Kenyans. This roadmap is based on six pillars in a three-pronged approach. The Excellence Charter is anchored on three pillars, namely recasting, retooling and relearning. In this journey, we shall be shepherded by six strategic commitments, independence and integrity, lifelong learning, reshaping prosecutions, leadership, organizational effectiveness, and interagency network. I would like to remind you all that the innovations within the Excellence Charter are only the beginning of what we can achieve as we move towards a 21st century prosecution service. I want to give my special thanks to the EU for supporting us in the development and publication of the Excellence Charter and the UNODC who helped us deliver it and all our other developer partners who through their partnership we moved closer to realizing our vision and mission. The Excellence Charter is designed ultimately to create a better life for all Kenyans, based in justice and with respect for human rights. The public can expect uh, better and more efficient services from our office. And at the end of the day, who is going to, uh, uh, to, to, to get the service? It is the, the Wanjiko or the Mwanaichi. I cannot thank you enough, DPP and your team for showing the way, for the solid manner in which you have led. You have led from the front, redefined this office and given it an institutional uh, uh, image that we all desire uh, as, as we go forward. The road ahead is bright, revealing the transformative power of the Excellence Charter. Together, we will walk upon its path to greatness. I know it is a difficult path, it is an odious journey, but the journey of a thousand steps starts with one step. We have now embarked on that journey as the ODPP, and may we not tire as we pursue excellence.